In this video, I'll show you latest method on how to set up OpenHab home automation software on Raspberry Pi 5. Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hariharnath. Let's get started with the video. First of all, we need to download OpenHab. So there are multiple ways to download. So because we are going to use Raspberry Pi, so I have opened and clicked on download here. And here if I select Raspberry Pi 5, the stable version I am choosing here and first option is Raspberry Pi Imager and there are some other options but I don't recommend them because this is simplest and easiest way that you can get open Habian OS wherein you can work with open Hab. So first you need to get Raspberry Pi Imager so you can click on this and then download Raspberry Pi Imager. So once you have that you can open the Raspberry Pi Imager and click on which device you are going to use. For me, I will be using Raspberry Pi 5 and the OS, if you go to the other specific purpose OS, you can find home automation related. So you can get inside that and here you can find open hack. So you need to select either 64 bit or 32 bit based on your uh, OS. If you are using Raspberry Pi 5, we can use this 64 bit. Next, I'll select the storage. So for this to work, I would need a SD card reader and SD card. So micro SD card is inserted into SD card reader and that's why I can see this USB device and click on next. So all the existing data will be erased. Click on yes. So it will take uh, nearly 10 to 15 minutes to complete that. Now we can see the write has been successful. So click on continue. So after this, you have two options either to take the SD card and put it in the Raspberry Pi and use the Ethernet cable if you are going to use that. If not, if you want to use the Wi Fi and don't want to use Ethernet cable, then you need to do additional step. So I'll show you how we can connect to our existing Wi Fi. So for that, I will remove the SD card and then reinsert. I have reinserted the SD card and you can now see this is the contents of the SD card and here you need to search for openhabian.conf. So you can open this in notepad or notepad plus plus. So I have opened here in plus plus. Now you can see there are few things that you need to note down. That is the host name is OpenHabian, username and password is also OpenHabian. You can change them uh, so from here. So if you want to do that now itself, we can do or later on you can do. And the time zones, all those things will be uh, can be changed later on as well. Now the important thing is Wi-Fi SSID. So here I'll provide my Wi-Fi SSID and the password. And also you can search for the Wi-Fi country code from this Wikipedia page. For India, I'll use IN and then you need to save this. Once you save this, you are ready to go and connect with Wi-Fi from your Raspberry Pi Open Habian OS. So next thing that we need to do is setup. So before inserting our SD card to your Raspberry Pi, I'll first show you what is the steps for the setup. So first, we need to get inside this uh, getting started and in this documentation we can find uh, so these are the two steps where you can use uh, Wi-Fi or Ethernet so right now I will be using Wi-Fi so that's why I have done the configuration extra configuration next that we need to do is so this is the steps that we have to look so until now we have per performed until uh, this point where we have made the first boot configuration so that we want to use Wi-Fi and after that we can insert the SD card into Raspberry Pi. Now I have removed the SD card reader and SD card will be inserted into the Raspberry Pi. And now I will try to power on the Raspberry Pi as well. So after this what we need to do is we need to wait for some of the logs to appear uh, so that will be available in this website. So you can open this open Habian 81 and wait here for 
nearly 5 to 10 minutes so that whenever the Raspberry Pi is ready, you can see the logs here. So it will take first 5 to 10 minutes to even boot this OS. That's why you have to wait here. Now after some time, you can see that this has been connected and the log status is available. For example, if there is any issue in the networking, what it will happen is Open Habian will open an hotspot and you can search from your mobile or your computer that Open Habian hyphen with a number. So that would be there as a SSID and you can connect to it and then connect to our uh, local Wi-Fi so that if you have any kind of issues in the networking or if you type some wrong password etc then you can connect to your Wi-Fi. So once you have able to see here in the 81 port the all the steps will be available here like for example what is it trying to install whether it is trying to fetch it or is there any issue so it keeps on updating every 60 seconds and you can see the status so once this is completed then this page will not work and after that you need to open this page that is open habian 8080 so i'll also keep that open aside so once this page will stop working after 15 to 20 minutes or it can, it can also take more than 30 minutes as well based on the RAM and the internet speed and once you can see that you can open this. So I will wait for it. Now we can see this page is not accessible or reached. So which means that we can now proceed with the 8080 page and here we can type your username of OpenHab. So you can provide any of the username and password. So now you can see it is asking for setup. So you can do the basic setup like language and the country I can select my country India and time zone it's automatically taken and I'll begin the setup and if you want to provide any map so let me refresh this so it's not properly loaded. I'll refresh. Yeah, now it is properly loaded. And uh, so here you can provide a map or you can use literary from device, but this will not work because we are not using HTTPS. So you can configure those things later. Click on configure later. And it we need to choose some of the persistence add-ons. So by default, these can be chosen. And here also some of the add-ons for scripting and uh, the bindings that are added so you can choose them and install now the installation of the add-ons is done and we can click on get started and this is the basic ui that you can see and from the right hand side you can see there is a binding that you can add so there are so many add-ons that you can add and also based on that bindings you can also have the thing in box so wherein you can add new devices or things inside this and then configure them and display them on the UI. So after this, I will also show you how to SSH to this operating system. So for that, you need to have PuTTY. So open PuTTY and you can just type open Habian because that is the host name that we have given. So you can type that or you if you want to find the IP address, you can use angry IP scanner and find that. So right now I'll just use open Habian as host name and open. Now I can see the putty is asking for uh, the certificate to be accepted and the key. Here I need to log in with the open Habian username and the password is also open Habian. This username and password we have found in the SD card configuration file while we were setting Wi-Fi. And now you can use a uh, sudo open habian config so this will ask for the password again so this will open some announcement will be shown here and after that announcement for the first time then you can see all the settings that configurations that you can see generally if you see raspberry pi configuration just like that we have how how can you upgrade this and what are the different settings that you want to set. So those things are available here. So you can also change the password here. 
So the password of the open Habian you can change from here. So you can provide a new password. So I would recommend always to change the default password. So you can also do from here or you can use the uh, keywords like PASSWD open Habian. So just like this, that's why it is saying it has detected the default password. And now we can see. So the password combination generally right now what I have mentioned might have been failed. So what I can do is PASWD open Habian. So this I will type and the current password it is asking and then new password I need to give. Now the password is successfully updated. So this is how you can change the default password. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video informative, please type helpful in the comment section below and smash that like button. Check out my other videos on how to install Home Assistant on Raspberry Pi from the end screen. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.